Today we're going to be working on a 2015 Honda Odyssey. Uh, we're going to be installing the V-line behind the radio here. Uh, the first step to take all this apart is going to be taken off this panel. You can use a pry tool for that. That's easy if you just pry from the bottom, pull up, and then if you get up here at the top, you can also pry it. Just work your way around it. we go and once you've got that out there's going to be a plug on the back of the start button here there's a little clip on the other side and you just push that in and pull and that piece will come off here's the back of it and next we'll be moving over to this side and taking this panel off all right so to take off this panel here we're going to take off the side the cap and for that we're using the pry tool still you're just going to pry it off to the side. You don't have to fully remove this as long as it's just not stuck into this piece on the side. And after that, I like to start over here. I'm going to pry up and pull and full thing comes out. All right, it's just a bunch of clips here. Now that we've got that out, the next step is going to be pulling off the silver piece here. Uh, it's easier to come from this end than if you get your pry tool under this clip. Pry out. There we go. And then from there, you're just going to pull on it and work your way around. And there's going to be some plugs back here as well. There's two on this bottom AC module. And then we got the one up top for the hazards. And now we're ready to remove the radio. All right, so now to pull out the radio, we're going to need to remove all these eight millimeters. There's four total. We'll do that. And for this top one, it might be easier to just press the shift release and actually shift down the vehicle so you can reach it. All right, so now that we've got those removed, we're going to need to go around and take out these Phillips heads right here that hold on this lower panel. Let's do that now. All right, and now that we've got those removed, there's going to be a side little hook right here. There's going to be two screws in there you need to take out. You can see them directly at the back. All right, so this one over here on the right is actually kind of stripped out, so we're going to have to remove it in this vehicle. This one over here, we do need to remove. So. And now that we've got that out, we're going to be popping this panel off on the sides. So you want to take your pry tool. And we're just going to pry around over here. You may need to remove the, or pull the glove box down just so you can kind of get an angle to grab this at. There we go. And we've popped that loose now. You saw the radio kind of slid down. There's two clips in the bottom of the radio that hold it in. So once you pull this down enough, the radio will actually come out. Well, in this case, I'm gonna use the panel popper just to kind of get a little bit more room there. All right, so now that we've kind of got it loose from this side over here, we're going to be pulling on this side now. There we go. And that should be plenty. Now the radio just pops right out. And back here, we're going to be disconnecting all these. And for these clips, I like to actually use the panel popper. If you push it down right here, then it just pries right out. And the final one down here, we're going to unplug that. And now we've got the radio removed. All right, so now that we've got the V-line removed here, we've got everything exposed. We can go and start making our connections behind the radio. First cable we're, we're going to be using is the CV Han 3D. This end will go to the glove box and plug into the V-line. This side will plug into the radio, and this side will connect to the factory plug. So we'll go ahead and do that here. Oh. and we're going to go ahead and run this to the glove box we're just going to go right through here and then go up and we're going to put out of this cubby right up here all right so now we've got our display cable connected right here we've got it ran to the glove box and we've got this end hanging out to plug into the radio we can move on to our next cable which is our mcf ha3 uh, we're going to start with our it's going to be a 12 pin connector it's going to go right here when you go to plug it in, be careful not to push too hard. Kind of want to wiggle it back and forth. I've seen this one bend pens before inside of here. 
And as you can see, it actually did it right here. It bent those. So we're going to use our pry tool just to bend those back up into place. And just make sure you wiggle it and you'll hear it kind of snap into place when it's actually fully in. And then next, we're going to move on to this plug over here. And now we've got these two ends. We're going to plug into the radio. The last thing we have to connect on here is going to be our reverse wire or labeled REV. Uh, we've already got the P-tap on here, but I'll show you how to do that. So first, you just need to strip a little bit of the end of the wire. You're going to unscrew the top portion, stick the wire through. And pull it through on this side a little bit so it's exposed. And then you want to wrap this end inside of here and tighten. If you got it tight enough, you see it's not coming loose. Then we untwist the other side. And the reverse wire in this vehicle is going to be on this 24 pin plug right here. And you see the brown wire in the corner and pin slot 24. That's the one you want to tag. So we're going to wrap this around it. There we go. And then we're just going to twist this onto there. And that's going to make the connection that we need for the reverse. If you don't do this part, you're all, you are going to see issues with the display working properly. So make sure you do tag that. And now we're going to get this ran up to this cubby right here. All right. The last thing we're going to connect back here is going to be our WL toy USB cable. This end is actually going to go to the V line. So we're going to run it to the glove box. This end is going to plug into the back of the radio and it's going to plug into the factory slot. It doesn't have a T harness, so you'll leave the factory connector disconnected. So we're just going to leave this cable out here and we're just going to run this up with the rest of our cables right now. And now that we've got everything ran through, we're going to go ahead and put our stereo back in. All right, so now that we've got all of our harnesses back here, we're going to go ahead and start hooking up the radio. I like to start at the bottom and work my way up, which makes it a little bit easier. So we're going to start down here with this blue connector and connect that back. And we'll start with the bottom row. And so we've got our connectors in this top corner, one in the bottom middle. And then lastly, we're going to be hooking up these for our display and USB. So this is the male part to the Vihon 3D that I'm connecting right now. And you want to make sure to hook up this USB as well and don't hook up the factory one. And lastly, the green one. There we go. So that's all of our connectors there. We can go ahead and get this back into place. Uh, make sure you push this harness up and out of the way so you don't lose them when you go to connect your AC controls. With the clips on the way down here, you just kind of got to wiggle it into the place. And then once you have it semi-close, you can pull back and line everything up. There we go. Now that's all lined up. We can pull up on this. We'll go in. And then we just need to line up the sides and everything will snap back into place. So we'll be right back for that. All right, so we ran all the cables out up here. I've got all three of them right here. We're just going to push those right down into the glove box from this corner. And then just do your install just to get all the cables managed. You can do that back in this area. And there's plenty of other wiring harnesses back there that you can zip tie them to. So we will be going through and doing that. But for now, we're just going to get them out of the way and into the glove box. All right, so now we've got all those out of the way. We can go ahead and push this back up into place. I like to start with this corner side over here. There we go. And then we need to do this side. There we go. And as you can see, the bottom's flush now. So we'll go back through and put our screws in. All right, so we can go ahead and put our screws back in here. I don't know about every vehicle, but for this vehicle, they're black screws here. And then for things like the display, they'll be silver. So you don't want to get those confused.
And now that we got those in place, we can go through and put all four screws back in our radio. So we'll do that now. And these ones with the washers actually going up top and the shorter ones like this will be going in the bottom. All right, so now we've got all four screws in for this and this is secured. We'll go ahead and put in this piece of trim up top. And you do have these three plugs right here, so don't forget to connect all of those. And you're just going to have to wiggle it to get it in the right place. You'll feel it once it's in the right spot, and then you can press down on it. It should pop right into place. And then at the top up here, you just want to press up to get it to go in up there. And now that that's all back in place, we can go ahead and put on this cover right here. We've got the plug for the start button, so don't forget to reconnect that. And the last piece we'll be putting in will be this one right here. And then I'll just go right into the slot. And then you just need to push your side panel back in. There we go. And we've got everything back together.